Hey guys, welcome to the Vintage Baseball Card of the Week for this week. It is the 1974 Topps Rookie Pitchers Card, number 599, featuring Dave Frisleben from the San Diego Padres. Now those of you who know the 1974 set know that Topps initially started printing many of the players with Washington National League in anticipation that the Padres would move to Washington. They didn't even have a team name. And Dave Frisleben was one of these cards. Now what happened was at the last minute, Ray Kroc bought the San Diego Padres for $12 million and kept them in San Diego. But Topps had a problem on their hands because they had printed up a number of these cards saying Washington National League. And what they ended up doing was stopping production of those cards and changing them around to San Diego Padres. So many of the players from the Padres in the 74 set actually have two cards, the Washington card and the San Diego card. Well, Dave Frisleben actually has three cards and that's why I'm f featuring this card this week. There's two variations of the San Diego Padres card. The one in the middle is the large print edition, large, larger print of San Diego Padres. The one on the right is the smaller print one. The font is slightly smaller. You can tell if you look close up, but it's hard to tell if you're looking maybe five feet away. Well, it turns out that the small print edition is a little bit rarer of the two. These cards can go up to $20 to even $30, um, and the large print ones are probably, you can find them less than $10. What's kind of interesting is that the Washington card turns out to be the most common variation and the easiest one to find, which is a little unusual because the main player cards, the Washington cards, are more rare. One thing I didn't know about this card that I think is interesting is on the back of the Washington card, it actually says San Diego Padres for Dave Frisleben. So all the cards have the same back, just the fronts are slightly different. One other interesting thing about Frisleben is that he actually did a photo shoot in the Washington team uniform, which they just called the Stars. I think they were looking for a generic name. Um, his other, or only other, baseball claim to fame is that he was the pitcher on the mound when Lou Brock broke Ty Cobb's uh, total stolen base record with 893 back in 1977. Reisleben looks. He's going. The pitch is high. The throw is safe. He stole it. The throw got by the shortstop, and Brock has done it. They would have thrown him out, but the shortstop couldn't handle the bad throw. And this is it, folks. Brock has now stolen 893. Now, Dave Frisleben only pitched in the major leagues through 1979. After he was done with the Padres, he went to the Indians and then with the Toronto Blue Jays. And that's it for this Vintage Baseball Card of the Week. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, you want to share any history with this particular card. And thanks for watching. Collect what you love.